Information uh, has many meanings. Uh, the way I use it is as a ruling out of possibilities. Now, if you hear that, you say, well, what, what is that? Uh, so let me give, give an example. If I tell you it's raining outside or it's not raining outside, have I conveyed to you information? I would say no, because I haven't ruled out any possibilities. You don't need to look outside to, to know that it's raining outside or it's not raining outside. Uh, because it's a tautology. It doesn't rule out anything. Now, if I tell you it's raining outside, uh, I've ruled out it's not raining outside. So I've told you something uh, and something that you couldn't know except by then investigating it yourself. And so that's the fundamental idea with information, that it is by ruling something out, by diminishing uh, a range of possibilities that you learn something. Uh, if I roll a die, until the die is rolled, you know, possibilities one through six are all there. But once it's rolled, die is cast, it falls on a face, now a possibility is realized to the exclusion of others. That's what information is. And you, that, it turns out that, no, what I've just described, it's a very general notion of information. If you think of, for instance, Shannon information, the idea of sending signals, bit strings, let's say, uh, between a receiver and a, uh, between a sender and a receiver, uh, there are a, a range of possible sequences and then one actually gets sent and received. So there's this ruling out of all these different possibilities and then there's the realization of one that actually uh, gets sent out. So this, this is a, it's a very general notion uh, and the thing is though you can do science with this because then you can start applying probabilities because that's, that's how you measure information in terms of probabilities. Uh, and so this is, that's what it is at its most fundamental level. This ruling out of possibility, realizing one possibility to the exclusion of others. That's, that's information.